Hello together. In today's video, I show you how to write the entries of an Excel file into a database table. This video is an extension of one of my earlier videos in which I write an Excel file to an internal table. I got some commands here with the question of how the data can now be written from the internal table to a database table. I will show you the answer to that in this video. First, I will link you to the video, which I will expand here. For today's example, we need a database table and an Excel file with data. So this is my database table, set test tab with some columns here. And this is my Excel file some columns and some data. Okay, so let's open the code. Um, so uh, this program opens an Excel and displays the data uh, of the internal table. So I test this, I pick an Excel here, I upload this Excel and here we see the, the content of the, the records of the Excel file. And in this video today, we want to insert this data into a database table. So let's go back. We scroll down to line 60. And here we start with the editing. So we delete the output code. And instead of the inline declaration, we do a explicit declaration here. Without that, the loop is not working. So I write here field symbols worksheet. type any table. And then we do the dereferencing to the field symbol worksheet. Okay, so next we need an row object data O row type ref to data next create data o row like line of worksheet next assign O row to field symbol row. Next. I need the structure of our database table. So I write here data ls set test tab type set test tab. Now we can loop over the worksheet with loop at worksheet assigning row and loop so pretty print and activate the code and now we set them break point breakpoint here to check how the data looks like we upload an excel 
Then we click on worksheet and we see this is the data of our Excel. Then I click on row and press F5 next step. And then we see here the values and the components. This is the header information. Then if I go forward, I see the different data, the different records. And these components we have to uh, assign to field symbols and the field symbols we assign to the structure. And with the structure, we insert the data to the database table. So next, we need uh, some field symbols for every column we want to insert. Field symbols, first the mandant, the client of type string. FS care ID of type string. Now we have declared the field symbols. Next, we go into the loop. And here we want to assign the components of the row to the field symbols. First, we check the suit topics because the first line is the header information and we only need the data records. Okay, and now we assign the components with assign component. One is the value of the client of structure row. Two, fs mandant or client. Okay, and let's copy this for the next five components. Component four, five, six. Care ID. Con ID. Plain type seat max eat or next we assign these field symbols to our structure. First mandant or client is Field symbol mandant. Now we have a structure filled with data from the Excel, and now we want. Uh, to insert the data of the structure to the database table with insert into set test tab values and here the structure ls set test tab. After that, we can clear the structure ls set test set uh, tab. Okay, let's pretty print and activate the code. So we uh, we set a breakpoint here, and we run the program. 
we pick the Excel and we open and upload the Excel. This is the first loop. So two topics is one worksheet and row. Then we press F5. Now we are in the second loop and here we see the different values. And now component uh, A, B, C or 1, 2, 3 will be assigned to the different field symbols. And now here we have the values of the first uh, row. And here we put the data to the structure. And if I click on the structure, I see the values the, from the first Excel row. And now let's insert this structure to the database table. We check the su sub c it's zero. So the insert was successful. So we end the program. So we scroll up to the table, database table. Let's browse the table. And we see here some entries. The first row is empty. Okay. But here we uh, have the entries from the rows from the Excel in our database. Yes, that's it again. I hope the video can help you. If you want to support me and my work, comment on my videos. Give me a thumbs up or most importantly, subscribe to my channel. I would be happy if you click back on my next video. Thank you and see you soon.